as you can see, even though we just completed the game, I'm back with a little bit more Lisa the Joyful. Now, bear with me, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing, but I poked around in Steam communities a little bit, and apparently there's a whole chunk of this game that we missed. So, I thought that what I would do is make an, kind of an overtime episode and go talk about that stuff. Maybe that will give us some more insight into what's going on. Um, so, remember the TNT we got that we never used? It's actually this rock right here that you blow up. Um, and that worked just as I expected. That's awesome. So... I'm not quite sure where this ends. Um, what the heck did we just touch? Oh god. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like a super hairy blob dude. Alright. Oh, his name is Harry. Okay, that's appropriate. Alright, we'll fight this guy. What we've gotta... Oh jeez. I'm out of joy again. Four. I have to save enough to be able to get through the end of the game yet, in case... I'm not sure. I want to see. I don't know if I'll record it, but I want to see if there are additional endings in this game. I'm not sure, but I know there's more story content that we can get to. Um, so, shout out to the Steam community and the people who wrote uh, guides for this game or also just went to different threads and answered questions because this game has a... It is, that's one of the things that's kind of awesome about Lisa is the game is so nebulous and strange that there's actually a pretty solid game community. And um, Dingaling, as he's called, the guy that developed it, does spend some time in the, the forum. And it, I remember when the game first came out, he answered a lot of questions. Um, so that's pretty cool, I suppose. All right, I'm going to heal again immediately. This guy's a mutant, so he should drop some more joy for us because we need to have a few of them to go into that last boss fight. Um, not too many. Nice. Darn it. Ran out of... Ran out of TP. Alright, um... So yeah, I didn't get any better at this game between this and my last recording. I just... Not any worse either, but, um... Pretty much par of course. Alright. Harry, come on, man. You've got a ton of health. You're, you're a rival to the boss of the game here. I'm gonna try to get one more of these in before I run out of my joy. Yeah, that's fair. You can do that. Um, I think I have enough health that I can survive one more of those. I don't really know if I should, though. Um, let's let's just use the joy. Um, I don't want to have to fight this guy again. He stopped crying, and now he's just glaring. That's all right. Oh, man, he can heal, too. Hopefully he doesn't do that too much. Darn it. Come on. Buddy feels relieved but overjoyed. Um, so I think that... Right. You almost done, buddy? Or... Man, you're tough. You're not very you're not very deadly. Like I'm in no danger of dying. You're just really freaking good. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're gonna use our last joy. I think that's fair enough. Alright, here we go. Man, I'll take the miss. That's awesome. There we go. End of the line for you, buddy. Not buddy. You know, I have to stop doing that, but here we go. Alright, so a big sword, that's new, and two more joy. That should be just about enough to get us through the boss fight. Um, let's equip that new sword right now. 72. Large sword, effective but boring. Alright, well, good enough. Alright, so I have no idea what's down here. Um... Okay. 
Did we miss something? Is there something? What about over here? What? Is this just another one of those annoying endless hallways or what? No. What? Does this take us back to the beginning if you pick the wrong one? Are you serious, really? Oh my gosh. Dingling, bro, come on. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna look it up. Just give me one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, so apparently the one that we're looking for is this one. Trial and error, I guess. So, and then what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to go here and punch this punching bag. And you're supposed to mash the keys until a hole appears in the floor, which it did. Okay. Then look at this. What the hell is all this? So this is, these are the, the like the faces of the joy users, the people that use the drug and worked for Buzzo in the other game. But there we go. We've got the joy mask. Don't worry. Buzzo doesn't want us to touch you. Stay away from joy. You're free now. Welcome. Welcome, buddy. Did you enjoy watching your dad change? No, I did not enjoy that. Nice arms. Kind of a jerk. All right. Um... So there's that. So now that I have this mask, apparently there is a new area that I can access. Um, and I'm not 100% sure how to get there, but I have a pretty decent idea from the walkthroughs. So let's climb back out of here and use this new mask to access the Joy Lab. Um, and if you guys remember, I don't think I did it, or maybe, I, no, I wasn't able to get in, but there is the entrance to the lab that you can visit in the other game. It just doesn't allow you to uh, enter. You can get into the first room and that's about it. So let's make a save right here um, with our new mask. And then let's go back this way, I think. No, it's not back this far, hold on. We need to go Nope, I think it is. I think we do have to go back to the first zone. What I'm looking for is, according to this walkthrough, is the bar area. So that's one of these doors down here. Um, no, that's not the right thing. Is it? We'll see. Let's see what this where this goes. I think this leads to that village with the... Nope, this is right. Okay, so there's the bar over here. What? Hey, what's up, man? Oh, that's, yeah. All right, well, anyway, um, let's go back this way. And then, so now, once we have the joy mask, we can jump down there without it, but once we have the joy mask, we can run off this cliff, watch. There, and land down here, and then apparently, hidden back here, is, yeah, the lab. Here we go, don't feel bad. Yep, see, and this looks familiar to me. So, we couldn't get past this door before, so let's try now. Yep, alright, here we go. Whew, I have no idea what's in here. Bunch of joy. Well, I'm glad I'll have that for the boss fight, I guess. What are all these bottles? There's a note, hold on. I'm sorry I can't do it anymore. I'll always love you, Buzzo. This is like a coffin. Somebody's... Who's he talking about? Buzz? Do it. Never let go. Whoa. Okay. Um. What are you waiting for? Let's go play. What involvement... He, he claimed to be Lisa's father, but we know that's not true acting different. Who is she? Are you with someone else? She just disappeared. We're not you're not going anywhere. 
You have a job to do. You promised me. What? You wouldn't hurt me, would you? Not like they did. Now, wait a minute. You want that little bitch after everything I've done for you? You make me sick. You're hurting me. You can't leave me. Buzzo, you have to say, I need you. You need me. I love you so much. What in the hell? Make him suffer. Wait a minute. So did... Did Buzzo or Buzz or whatever, did he know Lisa prior to the apocalypse? Did Was he involved with her despite her being a young, young girl at the time? Because he obviously seems to have some memories of her pre her death, which was way before the apocalypse when both Brad and his father were still alive. And so she turned to him after both Brad and his father were abusive and negligent. I guess that's possible. But does that make sense why he's torturing Brad then? I don't understand. Um, I just, I don't, I don't get it. I guess, I mean, that's the theory. It's okay. You don't have to do this anymore. I'm here to set you free. So was, was that spirit of Lisa referencing Buzzo wanting or looking after, um, yeah, this is our way out, looking after Buddy instead of her? She, cause she died. And so Buzzo failed, uh, failed Lisa, if that's what you want to say. Be and then maybe that's why he's torturing Brad. He's doing it because he told her he would. Um, it doesn't make a ton of sense though. Um, all right, that about wraps it up. Um, but apparently there is one last thing that I can show you. Um, and this is not an alternate ending. I don't think I'm gonna go through the effort of jumping all the way through all of that stuff. But apparently if you wear, once you have the secret joy mask, if you go back to where Rando died, look, there's Brad. I don't know. That's it. I, I don't I don't know what that means. I don't know what any of this means. All right, that's my little addendum to Lisa. Bye for real this time. I'll see you guys the next game.